Hi everyone, welcome to the next day of the life cycles. All of you are aware that we are now starting, we have started since yesterday with the family of nematodes and one by one on a daily basis we will be covering all of these, right? So just let me quickly orient you to what all is happening. Uh, this is an everyday short 10 to 12 minute video that we are posting on the YouTube channel. But apart from that, I hope all of you are following the early morning ritual on the Unacademy platform, which is a fixed time slot of 7.45 a.m. known as the Kickstart Morning Sessions. So the primary aim of that session is to get you going for the rest of the day with we discussing in approximately 40 minutes MCQs, Monic of the day, image of the day. That's the plan. So in case you're not aware of it, then join us and see for yourself from tomorrow onwards. The topic for tomorrow is Corine bacterium and you can see the rest of the topics also. So every day we go topic wise and we discuss important MCQs, image and mnemonic of the day pertinent to that. So that's the plan of action for this particular month. And on 1st and 2nd of April, the most awaited class, I suppose, will be a free special class on the Unacademy app. And uh, this is going to be on COVID. So not any rumors or not any miscellaneous, but the most high yielding information for your exam. So let me start off with today's life cycle. And that is the pinworm or the threadworm known as enterobius vermicularis. First and foremost, vermicularis should remind you of vermiform appendix. So yes, that is where this goes and lodges. It's very, um, that's the name, the, you know, the similarity between the name that you must note. So first and foremost, let me show you what the life cycle looks like. So the news over here is also that I have one host humans. So yesterday the life cycle that we did, Trichurus Trichura, that also had one host, humans. So is the case over here. So let me dissect this life cycle. First and foremost, this is us, the human. And how do we get the infection? We get the infection by ingestion of embryonated eggs. Okay, embryonated eggs, uh, contaminated food and water. So that is what we ingest. Once we've ingested that, that is going to go in the small intestine and the larva is going to hatch out. See, what we had ingested was embryonated eggs. So the larva was inside the egg. Now, once it goes into the small intestine, after going into the small intestine, the larva is going to hatch out. And after that, the adult worms will form. And where are the adult worms sitting? The adult worms will go and sit in the lumen of the cecum. So basically, I'm talking about large intestinal involvement. So if you remember, yesterday we studied another organism where the large intestine was harboring the adults and that was Trichuris trichura. This is another one that is Enterobius vermicularis. Fine. Now, once the male and the female worms are in the cecum, fertilization happens. But soon after fertilization it has been noted that the male worms die soon after fertilization they die so this gravid female the gravid female now to lay the eggs does not lay the eggs over here the gravid female is going to go and lay the eggs in the perianal region during the night so the gravid female travels from here goes into the perianal region and lays down the eggs in the perianal region at region at night time so the eggs are basically present in the perianal folds Obviously, they can be passed out into the stool sample and then obviously, um, you know, the eggs will be passed out, the larva will develop inside the eggs and then the embryonated eggs with the larva is what we can uh, consume with the contaminated food and water. So I think it's very simple. The adult female has laid down, the gravid female has laid down eggs in the perianal region that will come out into the stool and that is going to develop. Larva will form inside it. We'll ingest it. But what's the twist in the story? Two things known as auto-infection and retro-infection. Now please remember, uh, when this laying down of eggs happens in the perianal region, there is intense pruritis that the patient has. One of the very important uh, clinical findings is intense itching, intense pruritus. And because of itching that the patient does in the perianal region, the eggs might contaminate the hands and the nails. So auto-infection can happen in the patient by following pruritus, following itching via the hands and the nails, the auto-infection is possible. 
point number one. So remember, in this cycle, when the eggs were laid in the perianal region by itching and scratching and pruritus, number one auto infection. Number two, sometimes the eggs over here, in them, the larva comes out here itself. The eggs might hatch in the perianal region and the larva then will migrate back into the bowel. So that becomes a retro infection. So instead of passing out into the uh, environment and developing over here, the larva develop over here only, migrate retro up into the bowel, so retro infection. So can I say Enterobius vermicularis can show auto infection as well as retro infection? Correct? That's something you have to know. And if you ask me about how does the egg look like, well, it's a classical egg which we describe as the plano convex egg. The classical egg that we describe as the plano convex egg. So have a look at it over here. One side seems to be a little flat, one side seems to be a little rounded. So plano convex. And within it, if you notice, there is a tadpole like larva. So within it, you will be able to appreciate there is a tadpole like larva. Well, that is the classical egg of Enterobius vermicularis. So giving you a very quick recap, maybe in a written format I can do so. What do we consume? We consume in contaminated food and water, we consume the eggs that goes into the small intestine, larva comes out, adults are formed, they are sitting in the large intestine in the cecum. There is going to be fertilization, the male is going to die off, the female is going to go in the perianal region, lay down the eggs, the eggs might pass out into the stool and back to the humans, that's the usual cycle. But the eggs might release the larva there and then and there can be retro infection. Right, so back up the bowel. Or because of intense pruritus, contamination of hands and nails, auto infection. Well, that is what you had to know. If I again have to summarize, infective stage, egg, what is the root? Oral or auto infection, location similar to yesterday, large intestine, and there is no pulmonary stage. So, well, with that, we finish the life cycle of the day. And for those who've joined us for the very first time, I'll give you a quick recap of what exactly is An Academy offering to you. If you go in for the plus or the paid subscription, you get access to all of these things in an unlimited manner. If you go for a further one upgrade, that is the iconic subscription, along with the best of an academy, you also get prep ladder subscription. So that's labeled as the iconic subscription. If you're looking out for particular batch courses, let me tell you, particularly for the FMG students, what started yesterday was a focus batch for the upcoming June uh, exam. And for the students who are currently appearing for NEET PG, there's a series of grand tests going on. In case you've missed the ones on 7th, 14th, 21st, you can still appear for the grand test on 28th of March. So I would recommend this is free for every Everyone to attend, attempt and know where you stand considering the new pattern questions that have come up. So in case you wish to join an academy, you can suit yourself with the kind of subscription you want, be it plus or iconic, one month, three months, six months, 12 months. So that obviously depends on the exam and the stage of preparation that you're in. Well, thank you guys so much for joining in. Hoping to see all of you in the morning class at 7.45. Topic for tomorrow, Corine Bacterium. Link has already been generated. You can pick it up from the app or from Telegram. And yes, tomorrow again, we'll be meeting at 8.15. And we'll have another life cycle from the family of nematodes. Thanks for joining in. Have a great day.